welcome to or back to the yoga corner. I'm Kira, and today I'm going to be guiding you through day four of my five days of fundamentals of yoga practice series. What a mouthful that is. But today, day four, is going to be all about a full body vinyasa flow to energize. I feel like alongside all of the key parts of yoga that we've already discussed in the first three days of the practice, there are two things that I look for from my yoga classes, and that is usually either to energize or to unwind, and that is going to be the last two days of the fundamentals series. So today it's going to be all about getting some energy and moving in a way that fills us with enough vibrancy and energy and excitement to take on whatever the rest of the day may bring. So I hope you're ready to get energetic and move your body and feel the benefits. We're going to be starting on our hands and knees in tabletop. So whenever you're ready, just roll yourself onto your hands and knees. As always, just checking and making sure that your fingers are spread nice and wide. Wrists are underneath the shoulders and knees are underneath the hips. If you take a little wiggle out, just feel into the posture, allowing yourself to take some intuitive movement. And then as usual, we'll find our cat and cows, the best way to energize and just start to find some movement in a nice gentle way. So with your next inhale, you drop the belly, lift the chest up and up, finding space. And exhale, we round it down, chin to chest, nice and round through the back of the body. Inhale, lift the chest up, opening nice and wide. And exhale, we round chin to chest, really nice. Take that a few more times at your own pace, allowing the breath to start to synchronize with the movement and vice versa, finding that connection. So every breath is linked to a movement and every movement is linked to a breath. One more full cycle. And then we'll gently slow it down and meet in our tabletop. We want to focus on spreading the fingers nice and wide as we tuck the toes and peel the hips to the sky for our first downward facing dog. Reminder, we do not need to have straight legs here. Heels do not need to touch the ground. We're pushing the heels backwards to lengthen the legs. We're lifting the hips to the sky so we have a nice tall back of the leg. And then we're also pushing the chest towards those thighs so that we've got a nice long line all the way from the crown of the head up to that tailbone. Really good. Take a nice deep breath in. And a full exhale. In this first downward dog, you might like to take some movement, perhaps pedaling out the legs and shifting the weight from one side to the other, or any other movement that feels good to you. That might be lifting up onto the tiptoes and then sinking the heels. Really just do whatever feels best for your body for another full deep breath in. And a full exhale. And inhale, we look forward to the front of the mat. We're gently going to tiptoe those feet up and meet the hands at the front of the mat in our first forward fold. Once again, knees can be bent here. We're just softening the chest down, allowing the head to be heavy, relaxing through the upper body. Inhale, we lift the hands to the shins, nice flat back as we come up into our halfway lift. Exhale, we fold it down. And inhale to sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting tall, nice, long back of the body. And exhale, hands come down to the heart space, open through the chest. Really good. Inhale, straight away we reach the hands up to the sky. And exhale, we fold it down, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lifts us halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, we soften the chest down. Plant the fingertips on the mat, spreading through the fingers, nice and stable through the hands. We step the feet back behind us, finding our plank pose. Knees up or down, whatever feels best for you. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna lower down. Knees come to the mat, we release the toes. We keep those elbows tucked into the body as we lower down the chest with control. Really good. Push through the palms and roll the shoulders back. We're lifting the chest, finding our cobra. Allow that opening of the chest to bring energy to the body. We'll pause here for a full inhale. And exhale to soften that chest back down. Tuck the toes under and with a big deep breath in, we push through the hands and peel the hips to the sky. Downward facing dog, really nice. 
Take a big deep breath in. And a full exhale. With an inhale, right foot is gonna reach up to the sky. We find our three-legged dog. Really nice. Exhale, we round forwards. Look up towards those hands and you're gonna step the right foot up between the palms. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna lower the back knee down to the ground. You can wiggle that back foot back just to feel steady and comfortable. And before we do anything else, we want to check in on this right foot. We want to try and make sure that the knee is aligned right over the ankle. So we've got a nice stable position here. If you feel at all unsteady, you can gently wiggle that right foot out slightly wider, still keeping the knee over the ankle, but just widening the stance to give you a bit more stability. Take whatever feels best for you. And then with an inhale, we sweep the hands up to the sky. As you lift up through a chest, see if you can allow the hips to soften a little bit further. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale, float the hands down to the ground. Really good. Push through those palms. Tuck the back toes under. And we're stepping the left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, lifts us up halfway. Hands to shins. Exhale, we soften. Forward fold. Really good. Inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky nice and tall. Exhale, hands come down to the heart space. Standing for a moment as we take a deep breath in. Exhale completely. Inhale, we sweep the hands to the sky. And exhale, diving down, forward fold. Inhale, lifts us halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, we fold it down. I'm going to plant the hands on the mat. This time, left foot stays at the front of the mat. We're stepping the right foot back behind us. Wiggle that back foot to where it feels comfortable and then lower the knee down, release those back toes. Just like in our last low lunge, we want to make sure that the left knee is on top of that left ankle. Once you feel steady and you feel confident in your balance, then you're going to push through that front foot and inhale to reach the fingertips up to the sky, finding our low lunge reaching through the upper body and softening through the hips. You might feel that stretch on the inside of that left leg, or perhaps you feel it where that right leg is reaching back behind you. Wherever you feel that stretch, just allow the breath to travel to that part of the body as we take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we float the fingertips down, planting the hands on the mat. We tuck those back toes under. Left foot is gonna step next to the right, Back behind us as we reach the hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a full exhale. With an inhale, we find our three-legged dog. Left foot reaches up to the sky. Exhale, we reach forwards. Looking towards those hands. Left foot steps up to the front of the mat. Right knee softens down to the ground. We release those right toes. Right hand is going to plant next to the left foot on the ground and the left fingertips are going to sweep up to the sky, taking a twist over towards that left side of the mat. Allow an inhale to expand the front of the body. And exhale, we float the left hand down. Push through the palms. Tuck those back toes under, lift the right knee away from the ground. Right foot steps up to meet the left. Forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, we lift up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, we soften down, forward fold. Inhale, helps us reach up as we lift to the sky, nice and tall. And exhale, we bring the hands down to the heart space. Really good. Inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, brings us to our halfway lift. And exhale, we soften the chest, bring the fingertips down to the mat. Right foot stays where it is at the front of the mat and the left foot steps back behind us. Soften the left knee down to the ground, release those left toes. Left hand plants onto the ground next to that right foot. And with an inhale, we sweep those right fingertips up to the sky. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale, float those fingers down, really nice. Tuck the back toes under, lift that left knee away from the ground. Right foot is gonna step back next to the left. We lift the hips to the sky, downward facing dog, really nice. Take a big deep breath in, full exhale. 
really nice guys with our next inhale left foot is going to step up ahead of us we're looking towards those hands and we're going to step the left foot between the palms right foot stays back behind us and we're keeping that knee elevated this time with an inhale we sweep the hands to the sky remembering to use that core to stabilize us as we lift up take a nice big deep breath in in our high lunge softening through the hips and expanding through the chest really nice take one more big deep breath in as we exhale we're going to find a warrior two position this back foot is going to spin parallel with the short edge of the mat arms are going to come out wide and we bring our gaze over the middle finger of our front hand so we're looking over the middle finger of our left hand while keeping a nice bend in that left knee Think about softening the shoulders away from the ears and reaching actively through the arms, keeping the full body open and active. Really nice, take a big deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands together at the heart space. Really good. We're gonna twist on that back foot, bring ourselves back to a high lunge position. Really nice, take a big deep breath in. Just going to challenge ourselves here if we wobble that's completely fine we're going to push all of our weight into that front foot and come up to standing bringing the right knee in front of the chest really good and then settle that right foot down really nice guys inhale to sweep the fingertips to the sky exhale soften down through the chest forward fold inhale lifts us halfway hands to shins exhale we soften the chest out and plant the hands we're going to step both feet back and come through our plank pose really nice shoulders over the wrist take a deep breath in exhale we lower the knees release the toes and gently soften the chest down to the ground really good push through those palms roll the shoulders find your cobra nice and open through the chest exhale release the chest back down tuck the toes and lift the hips to the sky we find our downward facing dog really nice take a big deep breath in and a big exhale with our next inhale we're looking forwards and the right foot is going to step between the hands left knee stays elevated here we use that core strength and the strength of our legs to sweep the hands up to the sky we find our high lunge really nice take a big deep breath in and a full exhale see if you can soften those hips a little further really nice one more big deep breath in as we exhale we move to our warrior two we keep that lovely bend in the right knee back foot spins parallel with the short edge of the mat arms open out into a t and we're looking over the middle finger of our right hand think about squeezing the glutes to open the hips up nice and long and we really reach through the fingertips here. Take a nice big full deep breath in and a full exhale. One more big deep breath in. As we exhale, we bring the hands together at the heart space. Keeping that front leg steady exactly as it is, we spin on the ball of that back foot and we come back to face the front of the mat in a high lunge. Allow yourself to stabilize here. Push really firmly through the right foot. Again, remembering it's totally fine to wobble. It's totally fine to fall as long as we're having fun at doing what we're doing. So push through that right foot with as much strength as you've got. You're going to try to come up to standing and bring that left knee in front of the chest. Embracing however your body felt doing it. Take a big deep breath in. And exhale, we bring the left foot down to the ground. Really nice. Pause there at the top of your mat. Maybe close the eyes. And just allow all of that energy to travel through the body. Allow all of that fun you might have just had on the mat to settle. And maybe allow the breath to come back to a nice steady pace. We'll reach the fingertips above the sky or up to the sky. I think we'd have a bit of a job getting above the sky. And exhale, we bring the hands down to the heart space. Take a pause there just to let everything we've just done to settle into the body, to feel proud of yourself for moving, getting on your mat and getting ready to energize and take on the rest of your day. Hope you've enjoyed this practice. I really am grateful that you chose to practice with me today and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.